Assalamu alaikum, my name is Farooq Huck and welcome to Helping Hand's first monthly video bulletin. We're going to bring you news and stories from around the world from the communities we serve. Helping Hand welcomed the new year this year by sending 39 American youth to visit the Syrian and Palestinian refugees in Jordan. They participated in activities with the orphans and visited Helping Hand's facilities like the Skills Development Center in Amman. They also helped distribute in-kind gifts and helped deliver micro-homes and bathrooms to some of the neediest families. It's now the winter season, where many families struggle to fight the harsh weather. This time of the year, our teams rush to save lives by distributing numerous winter supplies such as clothing, blankets, heaters, and much more. On the 20th of January, Helping Hand USA celebrated the legacy of Dr. King by spending the Martin Luther King Day in service of others. HHRD staff and volunteers gathered to pack in-kind gifts and send them to the needy people in different parts of the world. On the 21st of January, Helping Hand celebrated International Education Day by spreading awareness about education and by continuing to implement education programs. Among its many ongoing emergency relief efforts, Helping Hand USA has launched its Australia Wildfire Fund to serve families affected by the devastating fires. Helping Hand has also arranged relief packages to be distributed to the Venezuelan refugees in Peru as part of a larger initiative to provide relief to the estimated 2 million Venezuelan refugees. Last but not least, Sheikh Yasser El Khouli, our MINA Regional Director, is visiting the U.S. and has been speaking to our communities throughout the U.S. about the Syrian and Yemeni crisis. He has also talked about the work Helping Hand is doing to assist those refugees. 